a chapter a day to brighten your way. God's love always gives us new hope. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Isaiah chapter 11. In Hebrew, the name Isaiah means God saves. During Isaiah's time as a prophet, the nation began to decline, so he shouldered the responsibility of constantly preaching the true meaning of his name. God would give salvation to everyone. Let's read chapter 11 together. Isaiah chapter 11 There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide disputes by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. In that day the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. In that day the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time to recover the remnant that remains of his people. From Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise a signal for the nations, and will assemble the banished of Israel, and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart, and those who harass Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not harass Ephraim. But they shall swoop down on the shoulder of the Philistines in the west, and together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put out their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt, and will wave his hand over the river with his scorching breath, and strike it into seven channels, and he will lead people across in sandals. And there will be a highway from Assyria for the remnant that remains of his people, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. Jesse was David's father, and the prophet Isaiah said, There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. This accurately predicted that Jesus Christ would be born from the house of David. He showed the people of the southern kingdom of Judah that although they were being disciplined, they would not be uprooted, thanks to God's faithfulness and grace. Dear friends, no matter what has happened in the past, the old has passed away, and the new has come. I believe that as long as you are willing to return to God, there will always be new hope. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for my past mistakes and lead me to a new beginning in your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.